or help or anything? I mean, we knew coming in that, that he was a good player, obviously. Uh, he's been a really good player his whole career. Um, you know, we were, we were trying to do some things to help in protection. Um, so he made some plays. Ryan, how surprising was today's performance? Uh, you know, there's been a lot of talk about confidence and not being affected by, you know, the, some of the lack of practice time during the preseason. Uh, can you put a finger on anything today? Yeah, we didn't, we didn't come out and execute, you know, in any facet of offense. Um, you know, missed opportunities, uh, turnovers, you know, the whole thing. You know, we, we just we didn't execute the way we expect to and the way we need to to win football games. So, um, you know, the excitement was, was fine, it's warranted, but uh, at, at the end of the day, you have to come out and you have to do it. And today, we didn't do it. So, we're going to have a chance to take a real look at, at the way we performed make the corrections, and uh, get ready to go for next week. How, how much falling behind obviously make it difficult on you? Do you think guys maybe start pressing a little bit, you know, falling down 17 nothing early? Yeah, getting off to a slow start is, is never good, right? You're never looking to, uh, to do that. Um, then, you know, we were able to go score, uh, you know, had a shot at some points right there before half, and, and thought we were about to, you know, get some momentum and get, and get rolling. Um, fortunately, you know, it, it didn't – Stay, stay with us the rest of the game. When you get hit in the pocket that way, is there anything at all you can possibly do to protect the ball better on those fumbles? Or uh, I mean, I'm sure there's something. I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, you know, I know in the first one, as soon as I turned my, my head, he was on me quick and just trying to get it out and not take a sack there. Uh, unlucky, he, he got his hand on my my wrist on the ball whenever uh, I was trying to get it out. Um, and the second one, have to take a look at it. Felt like. Uh, was gonna have an opportunity there to, uh, to Chester on the back shoulder, and um, you know, got hit. Got hit from the back. Didn't, didn't see it coming. So we'll take a look at it and, and work at it this week. Whatever I can do there. You had had been sacked like this in a game since you've been here. I mean, how much does it affect your maybe mindset when you're getting hit like that and, and got hit on a lot of plays that you weren't sacked on? Yeah, they got after us. You know, obviously uh, when you know they're getting after you up front, you know you want to get the ball out and. Um, you know, we, we had some, some opportunities to get the ball out quickly, and they were doing a good job of getting their hands up when that was happening. You know, had a couple tip balls on, uh, on opportunities underneath whenever we were trying to get the ball out quickly. Uh, my arm hit on another one where we were going to have the ball out quickly and an opportunity for run after catch. So it uh, just wasn't clean enough all the way around. And um, you know, it starts with me. We have to find a way to, to make the corrections and, and come to play next week. Randall told us that it felt like to him that it was three different groups out there between offense, defense, and special teams as opposed to cohesive. Is that something that you guys felt in real time? I don't know if it felt that way, you know, for me personally. Um, you know, I think coming out of half, KB gets a pick. We're able to go around and score, uh, kind of compliment each other right there. Um, you know, I don't know what was, was happening on offense, I mean, on defense and special teams, uh, but I know offensively, you know, if defense gives up points, we expect to, to go down and answer right away. And we didn't execute good enough offensively to, uh, to make that happen enough today. Derek had several negative carries early. How much did your inability to run the ball right off the bat kind of set that thing in motion? Yeah, they did a good job. You know, they went big people and then uh, we're making some plays up front. Um, seem, seem like they're moving around a little bit. Uh, they made it tough on us, right? So we weren't able to establish the run early like we'd like to do. Um, I'll have to take a look at the tape and, and see exactly what happened and, uh, and go from there. And like I said, this is when you guys will learn what your culture really is. How, how curious are you to how the 53 guys will respond? I have belief that they will respond the right way, uh, that we have a bunch of men in that locker room who care for each other and want to win. And uh, we'll find a way to make the corrections, come to practice this week, prepare, and uh, go out to Seattle and, and win one game. You know, that's, that's the mission at hand right now is – is to make the corrections and, and prepare to win one game. So I have confidence in the locker room and the guys. Now we'll see, we'll see how it happens. But um, from what I've seen so far, we have the right kind of guys in the locker room, and uh, I think believe we will make it happen. We're well, rolling into next week. You know, a slow start like you had today. How do you prevent that from happening next week, especially on the road? You know, in a, a very uh, you know violent place in, in Seattle. Yeah, got to come out ready to go. You know, we didn't execute early in the game. You know, got ourselves in. In long yard situations, had the turnover um, and got down in a hole early. And so, you got to find a way to come out and execute, um, even if it doesn't happen on the on the first drive. That you know you can get something going right after that. You know, and uh, 
we weren't able to do that today. So I have to come out ready to play, um, confident. I mean, we were confident today, but um, reset and, and come back with confidence uh, for next week. Brian, have you been hit that much in a game here before? Have you been hit that much? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't really you know, keep, a, keep a list of games I've been hit in or anything like that. Um, but they got after us up front for sure. You didn't have much time, Ryan, with, with this offense, with these receivers and training camp preseason. How much can that factor a, a bit into the, you know, the struggles today, do you think? I don't know. I'm not going to make excuses. We had opportunities, um, and just we weren't able to make enough plays. How would you assess your chemistry with Julio and AJ today? Yeah, I think we had, like I said, we had opportunities. You know, uh, AJ made a couple big plays for us. Julio made some big plays for us. We had other opportunities that were there, and uh, we weren't able to, to make them happen. So um, it would be a big week for us to reset, uh, have a great week of practice, and get ready to go for Sunday.